Hi guys, this is Jaden. From last video, I have introduced you the basic information about this JD Nile 8B scan tour. And today, I'm going to show you how does this intelligent dual system scanner works. This device includes two systems. One is OBD2 system, it is for engine diagnostics. And another system is for battery analyzation. Now let's check the first one, OBD2 system. Now let's connect the OBD2 cable with the unit. And this is OBD2 adapter, and you connect to the car OBD2 port under the dashboard. Okay, it's ready. And here we enter into the OBD2 system. From the home screen menu, you can see all the function list, read DTC, clear DTC, left data, IM readiness, freeze frame, battery monitoring, ECU system, and mode 6, mode 8. And next page, we also have DTC lookup, select ECU, oxygen sensor, image and setup okay now let me introduce the functions step by step first we turn on the ignition just to turn ignition on and no start motor okay we go to red DDC Reading codes. Okay, no fault codes detected. Good. Let's check the live data. Data stream. Okay, review data. Here you can you choose completely data set or custom data. Select the data you want to check and to custom data set. Okay, let's check DTC count load percentage, engine current temperature, mm, MAP, weak speed, rotation, okay, press OK. Now here you can see the left data values. Okay, let's check it. Let's start the motor. Now here you can see the values is responding very fast. You know, engine current temperature, load percentage, vehicle speed. Let's check the rotation. Uh -huh. Responding very fast. Okay, let's go next. I am ready, nurse. You can use F2 key button and enter into I am ready, nurse. Hmm. Here you can see the monitor situation. This is good for emission test annually. Okay, let's go back. Freeze frame. No freeze frame code. Okay, battery. This is the basic battery voltage monitoring, not professional, the battery condition and rization. So, okay. Next, we will. From another system, I will introduce the professional battery test and go to ECU information. Now here you can see the vehicle ID number, calibration number, and calibration verification number. Oh good. Let's go next, model 6.
okay from mode 6 you can check the oxygen sensor monitor situation you know you can check re, exactly sensor 1 or sensor 2 problem which one you know you can check one by one and you can also check misfail cylinder 1 cylinder 2 cylinder 3 you know different have different values you can have the test value and minimum values and maximum limited values this is very for very good for technicians to check the monitor situation and sensors status okay let's go next model 6 it is component test for evaporative system leak test okay some cars don't have uh, evaporative system test and some have let's go next dictionary for arrow codes to Utah from here you can enter any code you want to check let's check P0101 okay you can have the definition mass or volume airflow a circuit range performance you know. okay this is the engine protocols now go to oxygen sensor oxygen sensor okay the selected mode is not supported because this guy is uh, the protocol is can so if you want to check O2 system O2 sensors you have to use the model 6 okay, image okay image this is the test result you know you can perform press F1 and F2 the same time and you can perform screen capture and save the test result you can see now okay it is very convenient now let's check setup okay from setup you can see language setting unit of measure keep beep set that beep set to self test and configure monitors USB storage and a bot information let's check language it is multi language tools English Espanol German French Italian and Portuguese so This is all the functions from OBD2 system. Okay. okay, let's go for next system for battery analyzation. Now let's connect the battery tester cable. Put the LED creep to the battery positive pole and black creep connect to the negative pole on the battery. Okay, the power up the device automatically and enter into the system battery analyzation. You can see the system is not the same as the OBD2 system. From here you can see quick test, standard test, cranking test, and charging test, wave test, image, setup, about and print. Okay. Now let's go to the first one, quick test. Turn off engine and all automotive electric, press enter. Okay, now ask you to input CCA values. From here you can see uh, the battery CCA is 480. Okay, press enter. Okay, now you can see the battery condition good battery performance life 100% voltage 12.74 volt you know resistance and state of charge 
100%. Okay, the battery condition is very good because it is new one. And the standard test is almost the same as the quick one. Uh, and the uh, standard test you can select the battery is in weak or out of the weak. Now it's in weak. Uh, standard test. You can select uh, the battery type, Legro flooded or AGM flat plate or AGM sparrow. You just uh, select the first one. CCA values. Also turn off engine and all automotive electric as enter. Okay, CCA 480. Now you can see the test value is almost uh, the same. Now let's go for cranking test. Okay, now it asks to start engine. Okay, engine started. Okay, now here you can see the cranking test. The minimum voltage is 9.4 volt and maximum is 12.7 volt. And now the rear voltage displays 40.6 or 40.7 volt volts. Okay. Now let's go to charge test. Okay, turn on the light for three seconds during testing. And second, get the engine speed to 2000 and keep it for three seconds. Press enter. Now here, you, here is the result. Testing after charging. Wave test is the same. Uh, only voltage monitoring. The image function is uh, the same as the OBD2 one. Here, no image font. You can perform the test result. You know, run quick test. And okay, here you got the result of testing, and you can perform F1 and you can perform F1 and F2 on the same time to perform screen capture and now let's go back to image now you can see we have a picture of the test result this is very convenient for send to PC or share to others set up you can see language setting, KBIP setting, to a self test, and USB storage. About. Okay, print. Connect the device to computer and select uh, the test result and for print. Okay, this is for battery system. All looks good. So this is the JD908B scan tool. It is the same as you have two units. One is for OBD2 engine diagnostics and another is for battery condition analyzation. So if you need to check your engine light and also you need to check your battery condition. So the JD908B scan tool will be your best choice. Thank you for watching.